Why else would they delay the final shape? The delay was a million percent to add a third subclass. Okay, I'm at the, I'm derailing the stream right now. I'm, I'm derailing. We made this video right here, guys. The final elite subclass. We have been baited before in the past, but this looked so legit to us. I mean, it would have been, it, someone would have to have really gone out of their way to to have recreated all of this, right? And it's just the little things here. Let me actually pull up. We were going to get a red subclass, or at least this was what was rumored. The finer shape then was revealed to us. And I think we all know that the hype was really not there. And, and I don't think it really had too much to do with the subclass. We were just wondering, was Bungie just going to give us, was it going to, was Destiny 2 going to be business as usual? Were, were they going to acknowledge where they fell short? Nothing was said about a new subclass. However, since that has happened, uh, a ton of layoffs occurred. And then things came out that uh, revenue projections fell short by 45%. But the big thing was that final shape would be delayed until June. And this is a massive pushback. At this rate, if this happens again, we're going to have a September launch. We're going to be back to where we were when Destiny 1 Vanilla first dropped and, and D2 Vanilla and um, the Taken King. We used to have launches of September, but things have been going over that one year threshold. The point is, and I want to poll on this right now. Do you believe the final shape was pushed back to add this subclass and understand some of the icons here you're seeing you're like whoa but cross that that's literally icons some of these icons we already have understand some things are placeholders right all right so i have some people saying that cross what if we would have already had the subclass added and they just were being quiet and hush hush about it guys think about this think about when the new supers for forsaken were shown think about when stasis was shown stram when it was shown what was the first thing you saw in the trailers? Bungie was literally like, hey, look at look at this new subclass. And that was the selling point of the expansion. You think if Bungie didn't have a new subclass here, they wouldn't be marketing as such. They want money. They want revenue. They want you to buy the game. They know that that's a hype factor. That would have been in every single trailer, Vidoc, everything we got during the Final Shape reveal. So to say that Bungie was hiding this, But I will entertain the thoughts that maybe, just maybe, Bungie is adding this subclass for the finer shape. Right now, with finer shape delayed to add a new subclass, we are at around 22% say yes, 78% say no. Some people are saying right now, you're, we're setting ourselves up for disappointment. Look, I get it, dude. I get it. And that's why I don't really want to say that we're going to get a new subclass, even if I... You know, even if another leak came out today, I still wouldn't want to say because I don't want to set myself up for disappointment. The question is, is three months actually long enough to add a whole new subclass? Now, the only reason why I bring it up is if we brought up the document there from Bungie uh, way back when. Let me pull it up. This was November 27th. This was essentially Bungie coming out and stating that, yes, the final shape was delayed. Then beginning in April, we're delivering a two-month content update available to everyone called Destiny 2 Into the Light, which will prepare players for the Guardian's journey into the Traveler. All of this is in addition to the ongoing efforts from our PvP strike team, including three new PvP maps dropping in May. Uh, we know you're eager to get your hands on the final shape. In that sense, delays aren't fun. For our part, we're excited to have the extra time needed to bring our vision for the final shape to life for all of you. We're looking forward to sharing much more in April, including all new gameplay to showcase the significant content additions currently in development. 78% of you still say, no, we're not getting a new subclass. I, I Look, I can't argue with that, right? I completely understand where you guys are coming from. This was the other big post they put up. Uh, actually, this was the one right after everything came out and the layoffs came out. But this one right here. To us, the path is clear. We need to make the final shape an unforgettable destiny experience. We want to build something that will be regarded alongside the best games we've ever made. A fitting culmination that honors the journey we've been on together for the past 10 years. Forsaken, the Witch Queen, and the Taken King. These are the standard bears we aim to live up to. The reason why I wanted to reread that one more time, guys, is if that's the standard bears, Forsaken, Witch Queen, and the Taken King, what in the hell is the final shape going to have that's going to match that level of content? 
in, in terms of just sheer girth. Could just be PR talk. You're right. Could just be PR talk. And there was no new subclass in Witch Queen. You're right. And there was no new subclass in Forsaken. You guys are right. They expanded on those subclasses. We're getting new supers. We know we're getting new supers. And so we are getting that. They've already shown off the solar ones. And essentially, we're getting like Sunsinger back for Warlocks and stuff. So it's essentially going to be more like Forsaken the Taken King in that aspect. I want to believe it. But one of the biggest things that shipped Forsaken was Gambits. We got a whole core playlist added. That was a big deal. And I know Gambit hasn't necessarily received a bunch of updates, but at the time, it was a major deal. I'm telling you, I'm look at at Guardian Con that year. I cannot stress how many people were playing Gambit. There were people lined up. You couldn't even get to a computer. And they had they had hundreds of computers. You couldn't even get to a computer to play Gambit. Everybody was lined out the door. People were walking away, or walking away from that, going. This is the best game mode we have ever played. I shit you not. Because at the time, everyone had set loadouts going into Gambit. You know, this was before people could take whatever they want and take the meta in there. I think the other thing that really sold Forsaken was, you know, the story. The story was fantastic. You know, everything revolving around Kate, fantastic. Back to what we were originally talking about. Do we need this leaked sub, this leaked subclass with the final shape to be just as amazing as those other expansions? No. We don't. And dare I say that the expansions that we did get a, a new subclass, the story was always kind of weak. Think about it. Life Vault. Beyond Light. The Lord was there. I'm never... The Lord has always been there. But everything else was, you know, the delivery. Not quite there. It's kind of strange to me that it happens that way. Some people saying Taken King gave us new subclasses. I, I'm talking about like... Because we're getting new supers. We're getting new kits. Correct. I'm talking about just a, a fully fleshed out. This is a, a new paracausal energy or whatever in the universe of Destiny. So my question to you guys, and this is my last poll on this. Would you rather a new subclass in the final shape? Or would you just rather some banging content to play? Some banging activity? Something on the lines of, you know... I know no one wants to believe it, but Gambit when it first came out. Or Trials of Osiris. Or even Grandmaster Nightfalls. Think about it, dude. We are... Think about how many years here Grandmasters have been around. And I still look forward to playing Grandmasters every single season. Both. Both would be amazing. I wish... I wish... I wish we could get both, you know. But then we start talking about over-delivery, right? And, you know... I don't think we're going to get the leaked subclass because the timetable has already been revealed to us on them giving us new supers. And that's going to be delivered to us throughout the year of, of Final Shape. Whenever this leaked subclass comes, I think it's going to be probably in whatever follows after the Final Shape and well after the Final Shape launches. And that focus is going to be on whatever new content that Bungie's trying to give us. I know this season they started out by, you know, adding some, some love or putting some love into stasis. But do states it's gonna it's gonna have, some of these subclasses are gonna have to get picked up a lot more and if i had to pick one or the other right now i want content that i'm willing to just spend degenerate hours in over and over i want to shake up in destiny i want an activity or set of activities something there along the lines of those peak activities we've been given just a few times in destiny's lifespan that have have changed the game and i know some of those were flops all of them kind of flops to some degree gambit flops Trials of Osiris flopped. They brought it as Trials of the Nine flopped. Brought it back again as Trials of Osiris flopped again. And then started to actually get it. Once I got an anti-cheat, it started to pick back up. Something that's truly challenging your guardians. It's not saying GMs are becoming easy, but GMs are miles easier than what they were when they first came out. Yes, you could go in there and I guess do an overhaul to AI. We talked about an AI 3.0. Or Bungie could finally give us that horde map. They're adding an enemy type that's supposed to change the dynamic of just our encounters in PvE. They're working like as like support for enemies and the subjugators. There you go. The subjugators. They talked a big game. We'll see how it actually plays out. If the new subclass does exist, it has to be Rook's resonance power. All right. I mean, that that would be the coolest if, if, if that was the case. The, the thing is, though, yes, things are getting backed up to June. 
a lot of it is probably going to go into making sure the campaign does pop uh, making sure the difficulty there is is scaled correctly for everything especially the raid considering how easy root of nightmares was and then hopefully you know considering they they brought up taken king witch queen and forsaken hopefully that means that you know the, the girth of content is, is going to be there and and it's it's going to be just very densely packed bungie just needs to take big risk with this big risk and dare i say over deliver if there's, if there's ever been a time to over deliver now is the time to over deliver because if you make it pop if it comes out and does in fact nail being the best expansion in destiny in it and in my opinion it needs to be on so many levels with the 10 year anniversary of destiny it's the final shape man it's the final expansion here of destiny of course we're moving the episodes who knows what's happening after that there's so many things here that it's not just about money anymore it's it's about legacy this is this is going to decide the legacy of destiny slap that like button like your mama told you right